Hello and welcome. My name is Mike Roslog and I am the product manager for Rad Studio. This is another one of those quick hit videos that I just wanted to kind of go over a couple of things with you. And this one pertains to UML visualization. It's one of those things that we hear about. Uh, it's in the feature list. A lot of people don't know how to use it. A lot of people don't know some of the benefits that you can get from it. So what I want to do is I want to use that same project that we've been using on all of these quick hits. And so I'm going to go into it. And as you can see, I have my GUI designer right here and I have my code out here just like what we've been working on over the last couple of videos but this time I want to do some UML visualization the quickest way to do this is to come in here and click on model view when I do that it comes up and it says hey do you want to enable modeling let's say I make a mistake and say no and then I come back into project and I try to click on model I come back to project I try to come back into model and you notice that it's not popping up that dialogue anymore well, if that ever is the case and you can't get modeling to be enabled so that you can do UML visualization, all you have to do is come up to a uh, project and go into model support. When you see it, it'll come up with the projects inside of our project group. I just select the two projects that I want and I say OK. Now when I say OK, it goes out there and it actually reverse engineers that code for me. So if I come in, I can now click on model view and you'll see that I have both my project and I also have my project one test that we've been working with with the unit test. So if I double click on that, it'll automatically bring me in and show me the UML for my project. And if I double click on my project one test, it'll show me the project one uh, test structure also. Now, another thing that it's very useful to do is to go out and look at references. Now, this is where visualization really comes in. Let's say that I wasn't very familiar with unit testing and I kind of want to understand a little bit more about the unit test framework. To do that, I could come out here to the unit test framework right here, which says test framework. I can click the open button and see all of the objects that are part of the unit test framework. I can also come into it, right mouse click on it and say open diagram, or I could double click on it. Either way would work. When I say open diagram, it's going to go out there and it's going to reverse engineer all of the code and all of the symbols and bring it up for me. Now this one's a little bit hard to read. So if I open this up right now, you'll see that it's a little bit convoluted to be able to understand it. What I want to do is come in, right mouse click on it and basically go to layout and say do full layout. What it'll do is that it'll clean up the layout for me so that I can actually see things of how they work. Now there's one thing to keep in mind when you're doing visualization. Visualization is one way. In other words, that means that if I make a change or I can't make changes to the model when I'm trying to do anything. If you have enterprise or above, you'll be able to basically do the two-way modeling. So you can change the references, you can change the properties, you can change attributes, uh, you can even change uh, fields. And those changes will be reflected in the code. You can add uh, properties, methods, patterns, all of those things if you're on enterprise or above. If you're just visualizing, then you'll only be able to basically look at the diagrams. But another thing to keep in mind is that you can also see right here that we have the little lock symbol right here. And what that means is that there's no source code behind it. So if I would double click on it, it wouldn't basically take me into any source code. But what this does give me is the ability to go out here and look at my design of the process, see what kind of interfaces I have, see what kind of type defs that I have, and see how it's actually put together so I can understand it a little cleaner, better, faster. Now, knowing all of those things that I have in place right now, so now that I have the visualization, another thing that I can do that I think is really, really valuable for most people out there is to be able to go ahead and generate documentation. If I want, I can just come into my tools and go to generate documentation. It's going to come up and say, hey, Mike, do you want the current diagram? And since we're looking at unit testing right now, I'll say, yeah, let's include the uh, diagram and let's say, OK. When we say, OK, it's going to say, hey, the directory isn't created. Do you want to go ahead and create that directory? I sure do. It's going to go out there. It's going to start generating all of the things, looking at everything. And then it's going to kick off my browser here in a second and we'll see all of the documentation that's generated just from this standpoint. Now again, remember, it comes up in a Java doc type approach for us. So we can see that here is that uh, diagram that we were just looking at. We can click on any of the items inside of the um, of the diagram that we're looking at and it'll bring up any of the information. We can also drill into these locations inside and we can see what kind of uh, diagrams or what kind of documentation uh, go along with that. So it's a real big advantage to do that. Now, just as a side note, I'm going to go ahead and uh, we'll go back and we'll go back 
and we'll uh, we'll go back to the beginning of this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just copy this process, and I want to come in and start up Chrome just as an example to show that the documentation that we're basically creating is uh, you know cross-browser documentation. So here in a second, when Chrome comes up, I'll go ahead and pop in this dialog and we'll go ahead and hit enter and you'll notice that there's a little Java VM thing that comes up there's an additional plugin that we have for this so I'm not going to actually go out and get the plugin but it's just basically a, a another way to look at the code but as you can see I can see all the code I can come in here and come in and click on the abstract fields I can drill into these uh, processes and I have the ability to look at all the different things going on inside of there and again when you comment your code you can generate documentation off of it and it'll generate this type of documentation this documentation is in an output field this documentation then can be used to be put on a web server and people can start looking at it so with that I hope you liked what you see uh, with the visualization it's a great tool go in there try it hit the model view Go in, look at it, and I think you'll be impressed of what you can see and how you can communicate with your team about what kind of features, functionality, and capabilities are inside of your source code from a visual standpoint. Again, thanks a lot. Hope you'll uh, come back and visit me a couple of more times because I've got a couple more videos to do. Talk to you soon. More to come. Bye-bye.